coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Minister for Education Dr. Gail Rigobert along with the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry Michelle Charles and Deputy Permanent Secretary Kendall Cordra on Friday, March 22, 2019 met with the President of the St. Lucia Teachers Union, Julian Monroe's. The discussions touched on a range of issues including schools earmarked to be merged by September 2019, the progress of negotiations with the government negotiating team, especially as it pertains to the conditions of work and the request for term leave for persons in the teaching service. Also tabled for consideration and further dialogue is the more efficient use of principals within the education system, as well as allowances for teachers administering CXC SBAs. St. Lucia's Special Olympics team has come in for high praise from Prime Minister the Honourable Alan Chastney. Prime Minister Chastney says he is extremely proud of the Special Olympians who won gold in football, beating Poland 4-1 in the finals, won silver in the 100 metres, won gold and three browns in Boche. They competed in the World Games Special Olympics in Abu Dhabi from the 14th to the 21st of March 2019. Construction begins on the first of its kind solar carport facility in St. Lucia. This facility is being built at the Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Energy parking lot in Union Castries. It is important in helping to secure a sustainable energy future for all. Not only will the completed facility accommodate charging of electric vehicles, but it will also offset energy consumption of the ministry's headquarters significantly reducing the amount of money expended by the state in electricity costs. The first of its kind project for St. Lucia is being financed by the Italian government and is being constructed by local experts Gerinup Limited. The project is expected to be completed and commissioned by July 2019. The Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries has recently engaged the services of Kiosk Development Consulting to undertake a thorough revision of the tourism strategy which was developed for St. Lucia in 2013. On March 11th, the consultants held their inception meeting with the Ministry and began consultations with key agencies involved in the tourism sector. Minister Dominic Fede notes that the consultancy is happening at a time when the government is exploring ways to fast-track progress in the industry. Following the first round of consultations, the consultants will draft the revised tourism strategy and action plan to reflect a clear, coordinated, practical and sustainable plan for the tourism sector. This has been your Midday News Brief. I am Anicia Antoine. Thank you for watching.